just getting better day by day because, uh, you know, we have a pretty young team. And uh, although we have a few seniors, we have guys that are uh, playing in some spots where, you know, they haven't been before. So it's our job to lead those guys and keep their heads up because they have bright futures. And uh, I think we did a pretty good job of that. <coughs> and obviously in this one, I mean, again, like last week, you had to, you know, overcome adversity to, to stay in it. And, uh, I mean, how well do you think that your team handled what Iowa State threw its way? Uh, I think we've handled it pretty well all year. Um, just a couple of circumstances where the ball didn't bounce our way or uh, we made some bonehead mistakes or uh, you know, just didn't make enough plays to win the game in the end. And uh, in, this, in this league, it's pretty much going to be like that week in and week out. Um, everyone's pretty much even. Everyone's good. Everyone can be beaten. And uh, it's just about coming out and executing. And uh, today, uh, we made enough plays at the end to win it. And uh, you know, hat goes off to Iowa State because they're a tough team and they played us very hard. Um, but, uh, you know, I've seen that determination in my offensive line's eyes. I've seen it in Tavon and Stair's eyes um, and, and the entire staff's eyes because we wanted to win and we wanted to get off that snide, and we were, uh, we were determined to get that today. <clears throat> you know, it was a little cold out there. Um, how were you able to get so comfortable? I think there was a stretch where you completed 13 straight passes. Uh, well, you know, my first two passes were awful. <laughs> so I just I really kind of wanted to redeem myself and uh, not, not look like a well, junior high school quarterback out there, um, you know, I, I went out there and uh, you know, I just tried to play within myself, play within the system, and uh, take what the defense was giving me, and um, you know, just try to move the chains and lead the offense the best way I could. How important, of course, in this one, I mean, no turnovers. That, that's got to be something that keeps you guys going. Yeah, I think uh, we, we've done a good job with that all year as far as turnovers go. Um, we, we, really, we rarely beat ourselves. Um, today we had a lot of penalties, which is uh, something we'll have to correct. But overall, I think we did a pretty good job in uh, controlling the tempo, controlling the game, and also not putting the ball on the ground. How about what Sean was able to do for you guys today? Having him back, and, uh, it, it seems like he's always right, coming back right on time, especially in these cold, cold you know, weather games where people really don't like to hit. He's the one always out there laying the smack. He's, uh, he's a bruiser, and uh, that's what he likes to do. And, uh, we appreciate having him back. Uh, he's been a leader of this offense, even when he was hurt, um, keeping guys in good spirits. And it's good to have him out there on the field with us, competing with us. Now that you guys have finally become bowl eligible, I mean, how important is that for a football team to you know have the extra practices and all that? Uh, it's extremely important um, for the psyche of this team, um, for the future of this program, to uh, you know to erase the thought of uh, a five-game losing streak from my mind and uh, just focus on the positives. Um, we, I believe we have a bright future here at West Virginia. Um, going ahead, and uh, I look forward to you know seeing what happens. But I want to be a part of um, th those group of seniors that led us in the right direction. And um, you know, it's kind of been a disappointment for me this season. Wish I could have done some things better. But uh, overall, um, you know, I'm blessed to be in this position. Uh, and I appreciate being on this team. <clears throat> You know, not everybody obviously has a Tavon Austin who can do things like that when the game is on the line. What, what's that like for you to kind of, especially these last two games, watch him do that? Well, uh, it's amazing, really, to see a guy you know, who's undersized, who's really underrated, um, the most dynamic player in college football with the ball in his hands. And to see him constantly week in and week out just give us that spark we need, um, kind of put the team on his shoulders and uh, time in the time out come up in the clutch. Uh, it just speaks volumes of what type of player and person he is. <laughs> Sorry, I just got here. I'm sure you've already been asked about this, but uh, the, the mood for you guys right now coming off, being able to snap this losing streak, being able to come away with a win, get bowl eligible. I mean, can you describe the mood in the locker room right now? Uh, the mood's great. Obviously, you know, we won a game and you know, we, we put that losing streak behind us and we're able to uh, move forward with the, with the program. We, we came in here expecting the hard fought game, and that's what we got. And uh, we were able to pull it out at the end. Iowa State's a great team, they were very well coached, and um, they gave us everything they had to the final end. Um, but uh, you know, we were able to make the plays at the end of uh, this game. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't done that all year. But uh, you know, it's, it's a positive sign that you know, we continue to compete, we continue to fight, and not hang our heads. You know, 